What's going on? Tectonic Edge here, playing some more Mono Green Tron. Got the die roll. All right. Ow, one Tron land short. All right. Mulligan to a power plant. Some green cards. Uh, gonna keep digging for those Tron lands. And there we have more Tron lands, but no search. But we do have a chromatic. Oh, I probably shouldn't, but I feel like I want to try this. We do have the extra draw. Not the best keep. Probably should have kept digging, but two Tron lands. We're going to see if we can find a search card. Uh, ancient stirrings in the top two would be amazing. And we're up against the control deck. Good to know. All right, well, there's an expedition map. Crack for green. No luck, but we do get the expedition map out. For a Slowtron. Likely Esper Control here. Definitely Esper Control here. Uh, that's become the dominant version of Control. With the new added cards that they have. They're holding up Counterspell. Okay. Would have been useful last turn. We do have to crack. We will grab a tower. This is a decent turn to skip because they only have two lands. So they don't get any extra benefit. They just uh, don't waste a counter spell there. All right. Yeah, they're literally just holding up regular counter spell. A tower would be pretty decent here. Nope, Sylvan's crying. Well, I know they're having a counter spell. If we get a tower, we can play both of these in a single turn, so we'll just go for the Karn Liberated. Yep, counter spell. Fun. Unfortunately, Cryptic Command will be online next turn. Oh, sweet, Jace. do we have to assume here? Oh, very nice. There's the force that we pretty much we can could assume they have. But we do get the worm coil out. Which is going to force them into a decision. Now if they have cryptic command, it's not much of a decision. And we are out of threats, so I would really like to draw a green source. Okay, blockers, interesting. Path. They do have a path. That is unfortunate.
See if they have any more counter spells. They don't. Goodbye, Jace. First non-creature spell. Good to know. Ancient stirrings. We will grab an Ugin. And landing the Karn is enough to get us there. Nice. So the plan after this uh, was going to be Sylvan Scrying to get a Sanctum of Ugin. Play it. Cast Ugin. Go get uh, probably an Ulamog. But we will go to sideboarding. This one's a little on the tricky side. We definitely want the Veil of Summers. Um, probably all we're going to want here. We'll go down one Worm Coil Engine and one Karn. Great if we can land it, but they've got more counter spells for those. Um, maybe we go down one... Who can can answer, answer multiple planeswalkers though? So that's why Worm Coil Engine uh, is just a better target for Path. Uh, they have more answers for the creatures, but Thrag Tusk is good because if it lands, we're at least getting five five and our three three if they Path. Game two, I am expecting to see Vindicate here. I don't. If they don't have it in the main, they've definitely got it in the side. They're definitely bringing it in. Upside is I haven't seen Field of the Ruin in a while. So I think it's been phased out of control decks. At least a bit with the three color. I could be wrong, but it's something that just helps out a little bit in the Tron matchup. Maybe they just have a better answer for lands, or better, they need more fixing. I'm not 100% sure the reason. It's just something I've noticed in the couple of control matchups I've seen is Field of Ruin hasn't been played, at least in the last three I've done. Yeah, this is all since Modern Horizons came out, or Modern Horizons 2 came out. All right, opening hand. Okay, mine, power plant, chromatic, abundant harvest. Do we try the abundant harvest? We're going to try the abundant harvest. Three lands, so so long as we get the fourth land, we at least build towards Congregate Creator. Plus we're on the draw, which is nice. Now our opponent will have counterspell up turn one. Ooh, but they are on a mold of six. Decent. Or we can just draw backup power plant. All right. Is this going to be an opt or do they actually have a counter spell here? That's not a force. Nope, they're just going to go get their fetch land. Get it in tapped. All right. Tower. Top deck tower, top deck tower.
Yeah, we'll gamble here. I like the Thrag Tusk. Ooh, no land. Oh, we're really going to gamble then. Do they get their land? They do not. Okay, I think we do need to go for the Congregate Creator first. They'll waste the counter spell. Bleed Power Plant. Crack for green. Oh, Should have cracked first. That would have been much better. Uh, go for the Thrag Tusk. If they path it, we get green, and that makes this hand so much better. Ooh, they got their third land. And there's the Vindicate. Do they force this? They do force it. Interesting. Oh, no, misclick. Ah, I meant to play a land. Ooh, Stoneforge Mystic. All right. A uh, definite mistake on my part. Started clicking a little too quickly. Do I attack? Yes, I do. They'll still have to tap this to get that sword out.
All right, we'll take an Ulamog. So if they go for the equip, it says plus two, plus two, and they get double on their lands. We're not going to let them have double access on those lands. Oh, all right. They don't think they have it. Nice. So I've actually been doing pretty good against the Esper Control, even with the counter spells and the Vindicates in there. Um... Yeah, so maybe it's not as bad as a matchup, or maybe I'm just getting really lucky. But either way, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts. I'm actually going to open this thing right here. Uh, so let's see what we get. Open one of these. Silver Quill Command, Font of Mythos, and five points, and a Jade Avenger Tree. Treasure. Jade Avenger Treasure. Not tree. All right. Well, cool. Thank you for watching. If you made it all the way in, consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel for more content. Tectonic Edge here, signing out.